All right. Um, I'm interested for your take on this because I genuinely have no idea which way you're going to go. But like we exchange, so we know each other's comebacks and breakouts. My comeback player for this season, like there is no middle ground there. You either love him or you hate him. And it is Todd Gurley is my comeback player. So Todd Gurley is consensus or Alex and I's rankings is our consensus 20. Uh, 20th overall running back ESPN has him ranked as running back 18 his current ADP is 37th overall so the first pick of the fourth round uh, going as currently the 22nd running back off the board Mm. so there is like this much respect for Todd Gurley who (laughs) finished as running back 14 last season like he finished as 14 running back 14 last season on like a reduced uh reduced workload what he only had like 55 percent of the uh all ran 55 and a half percent of the team's total carries last season um yeah, and he's, he still saw over 200 carries i think which, two, yeah I mean, almost two and a quarter yeah granted that's it was only 33 less carries than the season before and almost and only 56 carries less than his mvp worthy 2017 season um his last five games like Sean McVay flipped a switch and said, what am I doing? Why am I not using Todd Gurley? Started using him more halfway through the season and the switched from 11 personnel also to 12 personnel more halfway through the season too. However, for the last five games in LA, he averaged almost 18 attempts per game. He had 300 uh, total yards, 310 total yards, uh, averaging uh, three and a half yards per carry, five rushing touchdowns, had 10 catches for 93 yards and another score. The guy was averaging 16 and a half fantasy points a game over the last month, month and a half of the season. And that's like, that's RB1 territory. And mm-hmm. he finished as running back 14 on the season. Now you trade him to Atlanta. And he's on a one-year special, hot five million bucks. To, a lot of money. Y- yeah, yeah, it, it is. It's res- <laughs> it's respect. I mean, it's respectable. I meant that as far sarcastically. As, yeah, no, it's respectable. It's just respectable. <laughs> like for what you're running backs are so underappreciated in the NFL for the work that they do. Unless you're and, Christian McCaffrey, like that's unless it. you're CMC. Uh, or Zeke, I guess, but most yeah. running backs. I mean, look at look at Derrick Henry's recent contract. Just like yeah. compared to what the other two guys, it's just like, ew, come on. But Gurley's he's only twenty six. He's not thirty. He's not like. <laughs> I'm sorry. He has he has a knee concern. Were it not for that, like the guy would be instantly ranked in the top twelve everywhere well he wouldn't have been traded from the rams either but that's neither here nor there or let go and free to free to sign uh with atlanta atlanta listen to this running back room brian hill gross ito smith gross kadri allison gross maybe a semi-capable goal back. um they only have 122 total rushing attempts between them none of them i don't think like barring Gurley's health, I don't think he splits carries. I don't think he really comes off the field unless he's tired. Um, Atlanta ran the ball 362 times last year. And I think really, if there was one team I had to pick out of all 32 teams as being decimated or most affected by injuries, uh, not the key injury that we just talked about with Big Ben. Obviously, you lose your quarterback. Like, there goes your season if it's one of the upper echelon guys or, you know, top half. Um, but Atlanta had 18 people on IR last season. Mm. That Six of them were starters, including two offensive linemen. And that doesn't even include the most a new trade. Okay, so you're really talking seven star like seven starters were out for Atlanta last year. And then you have an additional on top of that, you have four other offensive linemen that missed time. 
Like Atlanta mm. couldn't pass protect. Atlanta couldn't run the ball. Atlanta really couldn't do much. And then they lost Keanu Neal, Desmond Trufant, and Takaris McKinley, three defensive starters. Like they were down in every game. No wonder they threw the ball almost 700 times last season. Hopefully they get back healthy. They drafted Matt Hennessy out of Temple Center in the third round. I mean, I don't know if they're going to keep him at center with Alex Mack there. But either way, health, I think, will help them this season. Todd Gurley, I don't think, has anybody threatening him for touches. And as far as his health of his knee, which, again, is the only question I feel like surrounding Todd Gurley, Matt Ryan said that he fits in nicely and he's looked really physically healthy. He's looked great moving around. They pass him on his physical. They're going to pay him the money as long as he doesn't get COVID and like, like unless I'm barring some catastrophic injury, like the guys, he's the guy to me. So I just don't see how he finishes. I don't, I don't see like if you could get him in the fourth round, the workload there, I think he has a, a really good chance to to be a, a wonderful comeback player and have a nice bounce back season this year. Well, do you agree or what are your thoughts on Gurley? No? Yeah, there's really nothing that you didn't mention that I didn't like. He's a tremendous value in the fourth round. Um, however, I mean, yeah, the knee issues are It's just are the thing. knee. He, he passes physicals. I understand all that. But in, in this league, man, to a running back, knees are everything. You need knees <laughs> you to know? play. You need you knees need to be knees on the field. To play. You need knees to play. And that's one of the things that steers that makes me steer clear away from him. Yeah. However, um, I mean, in the fourth round, that's such a tantalizing option to possibly draft a guy who's with that potential and could get you a top eight, top five running back year he could be your it's, third running back at that point and you could just throw him out at flex and he could end up being yeah, a starter I mean, like that's that's crazy value yeah name value alone i feel like people are gonna take him where take him when they see him yeah. but uh i mean it's it's crazy value man I, I love the pick i love the pick if i if i'm sitting in the fourth round and i only have one rb off and i've you know taken maybe a tight end or or a running back already and a wide receiver and I'm looking for my second running back, I, I'll take him in a heartbeat. Yeah. Or crap. I'll probably take him regardless. I your <laughs> your your advice has I just talked you into Todd Gurley. You, you just talked me into Todd Gurley. <laughs> so if he's there in the fourth round, I'm probably taking him. I understand the concern. The concerns about the knee are valid, but like he held up last season. He gave, he ran the ball as much as they gave him the ball. And f- over the last two months, I mean the guy's averaging more than 17 rushing attempts a, a game. And he's on the field and getting the targets and the catches too. I mean, he held up to it last season. Granted, like he has lost a step, half step, whatever you want to call it. I understand he is not the same dominating force. However, all I am saying is that for fantasy football purposes, if you can get a starting three down back at the end of the third, beginning of the fourth, who is going to have opportunity after opportunity, like I don't think they're going to take him out in goal line situations. I don't think they're going to take him out really ever unless he's tired. So I think he's the guy there. It's just whether or not the knee holds up. And if you can get that value, even though if he's even though he's not the same dominant force he once was, I think that he's right now, I think he's being drafted closer to his floor than his ceiling. And so for that reason, I feel like I feel like he has a great chance to excel and could be an excellent comeback player should he exceed the uh, the current ADP expectations. But that's a great way to that's a great way to put it. You've done a good job, my friend. You've done a good job. All right. (laughs) Wow. <laughs> on that, I'm on the Todd Gurley hype train now. Let's go. All right. So let's move on to some breakout players.